Hi, I'm Kim. I have opinions about books <laughs> and people have been telling me that I should probably make a channel to channel those those feelings and opinions about books. So I guess let's get started. I'm gonna do a haul video, but uh, I have done the stupid newbie <laughs> blogger thing and stacked my <laughs> stacked my camera up on my books, <laughs> the books that I was going to do a haul about. So let me find some different books and restack that and then I can I can talk to you about how I went to the library this week. <laughs> okay, here we go. I have started reading Lady Midnight by Cassandra Clare. I'm a couple pages into that and I, I was also distracted by um, The Diabolic by S.J. Kincaid, so I'm excited about that one. That one was the, the one I started after starting Lady Midnight because I forgot Lady Midnight in my car and I had The Diabolic, so I didn't want to walk back to my car. And then there is The Name of the Wind, there we go, by Patrick Rothfuss. That was recommended to me by a friend. Um, I'm really excited about that one actually. We were having a chat about philosophy and and books and I was talking about Spider Robinson who is a fabulous sci-fi writer if you don't know and she was like okay you should try Name of the Wind um, because I like fantasy and and philosophy so let's see how that goes. Not 100% sure what it's about and then Six of Crows I have read oh this is by um, Leah is it Leah Bardugo or is it Lee Bardugo? I'm not sure, but it's fabulous and if you haven't read it, you should. It's a heist book. Oh my god. That's, that's one of the ones I've, re I've read. Um, this is Caraval by Stephanie Garber. That's gonna be fun. Um, and then The Graces by Laura Eve. Laura Lore, not sure how you pronounce that one either, but it's gonna be good. I'm liking it already, I've already started. Um, and then there's The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. I've already finished this one, it came highly recommended, and I know why, oh my god. And then um, The Hundred Thousand Kingdoms by N.K. Jemison, which is bound to be pretty good. And then um, I picked this one up and I'm not, I've, picked, I've checked this book out several times and I've never started to read it, mainly because I'm kind of obsessed with reading books in, um, book series in their chronological order, except this series is just so beyond me. Like there are so many books at this point, I don't know where to start and there are sub-series and so um, they've stopped, they've stopped actually telling you which one comes First, it's The White Princess by Philippa Gregory, um, which is a, a show that's about to come out maybe this year or next year. They, they, made, they made it into a TV show, so I wanted to read the book before I started getting into the TV show, but I'm not sure that's going to happen because I've tried to, I've checked this book out like eight times now. <laughs> and then there's Heartless by Marissa Mayer, which is the, I think it's the fifth one in the Lunar Chronicles, either that or... Um, it's one of the spin-off novels, I'm not sure, but I'm really excited for it because I loved, I loved Cinder. And, and I mean, Scarlet is, is great, but Cress, I love Cress. Sorry, we're getting, we're getting off topic. Last one is The Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Maas. I've heard really great things about this book. However, I didn't like Throne of Glass. I guess I'll find out if it's the writing style that bugs me or if it was the, the book itself and I'll go into that later because um, I know that's a controversial opinion. <laughs> Sorry. How does this work? Um, I guess I'll do a to be read video at the beginning of, of April sometime. I have no idea. I don't know how this works. <laughs> I'm really just winging it. If I use terms incorrectly or or if I'm just generally a doofus, just let me know. Like, I do that a lot. <laughs> if you 
are excited about the books that I'm going to read, if you're also going to re read the books I am reading, if you are reading different books, tell me what, you what books you're reading. I'm really excited to get more recommendations. Following a bunch of booktubers on YouTube, I am a bad commenter, but I will get better. I'm just really excited because I finally got the internet to share my book opinions with and I no longer have to limit my thoughts to 140 characters. I've been tweeting about the books that I've been finishing, but that's problematic. 140 characters is not a lot. So yeah, bye!